Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to day two of Deadman Armageddon. Well, technically, it's still day one, and I just got to the combat bracket 91. Now, for me, it is 1 a.m., and we have this quest XP lamp that we need to claim. Either we pick the Beneath Curse Sands or we pick a night at the theater. I'm going with Beneath Curse Sands in order to send some TOAs. And the first thing I want to do today is actually get a Defender. I'm just rocking with a Chronicle right now, which is not ideal. So let's get better gloves, better boots, and a Defender. Unfortunately, during the night time, I'm unable to commentate. But luckily, it is currently 7.40 a.m., so I can quickly run down as to what I did over the night. We started off by getting very, very lucky on my defenders. And after we received the Dragon Defender, done. We are done, Dragon Defender. 25 minutes. It was time to take on the Perilous Moons. Since I got so lucky, I still had protection left over, and with my sigil choices, it was fairly easy to defeat all three bosses. The plan after Perilous Moons was very simple. Keep working on the Slayer, keep working on the combat stats. And that's basically all we did until the 4am breach. The bridge this time around was Canifis, and it wasn't a region breach at all, it was just a standard old breach, and we ended up getting an alright luck, nothing crazy, 1 tier 5, and we also got jumped by a PKR, which was a very easy escape. After that, the plan was simple, go back to Slayer, get the stats high, and start working towards the final tier bracket. And there is 70 magic, I can now burst, however I don't have desert treasure unlocked just yet, so from here on out I'm not gonna be alking too much, I'm just gonna be focusing on chilling and afk training and we will be completing desert treasure manually very very shortly. Yeah, that's not my favorite task, but I will do it. Been a long time since we got a supply drop and we get monkfish, arguably one of the worst things you can get, so a bit unlucky. What I've been doing is I started tagging every time I hit mobs and the goal is 45 range but if we get more even better. I have a lot of points so I'm gonna try to sell a little bit of prayer pots in order to make some money. Okay nice blood welts. Let me see if we have bigger and better unlocked I do believe we do. Yeah we have bigger and better unlocked so this could be massive xp drops for us. Sigil of meticulousness. 75% more accuracy in all styles against all monsters. That is so good. I mean, I could sell it, but I'll just use it. Because what I'm using right now is 20% more accuracy in all styles against all monsters. And this one is 75. Oh my god, I'm getting spooned. Another tier 5, let's go. And the rune full helm. There's the big level 90 strength, I'm probably gonna push all the way to 99, even though I could balance out the stats a bit, we'll see, maybe I'll go to like 95, it all depends what kind of tasks we get. Oh my god, we have our first superior. Ooh, we got resilience. I'ma be honest, I don't even know what this does. Hit point restore 15 times faster, that's actually not bad. It goes for about 75k unfortunately. And here's 91 strength. It is now early morning, so we are gonna slowly be able to start speaking again. I might only go for like 92 or 96 strength and then work on attack and defense after just to get my combat higher. I wanna get to 112 combat as fast as possible. Up to 75 slayer, meaning we can now get gargoyles assigned as well. Let's take a look. Greater demons is a good task, let's get it done. Ladies, gentlemen, tier 5 emblem and another monkfish. It is now morning, so I can finally speak normally again. I'm pretty excited and this is gonna be huge. I have the buy order in for a devotion for like 750k. I'm still not buying it though. I really want it because the prayer XP gets up pretty nicely once you have that. But I do feel like it's getting a little bit too expensive for me. Uh, anyways, let's bank, let's reset. And let's come right back. I do like to do tasks like this in two waves because, I don't know, it just feels safer that way. Okay, I'll leave it in for this and if it doesn't buy, we will just buy chins basically before we go up a bracket. But uh, yeah, not ideal so far. There's big 93 strength and I'm gonna soon have to start considering doing the desert treasure. As soon as we reach 80, it is almost a must for Necreal task. And after I start it, I can also get Dust Devil tasks. I haven't really focused on it just yet, simply because I just want to get my stats kind of higher. But as soon as this gets closer to 80, I will get desert treasure basically done. Well, I know for a fact this is pretty rare. We just got a rune spear. I just got 94 strength, 100 combat and 78 slayer all in one hit. That's kind of satisfying. 
you love to see it, Emblem Tier 5 and Super Anti-Poison. So it does look like you can get Tier 5 Emblems from just about every monster, because I thought you would only be getting those from level 100 plus mobs. I have now completed 9 tasks in a row, so it is time to start taking a task from Duradel. This will give me a little bit more points. And honestly, I wouldn't mind a gargoyle task or something like that, something that will make me a bunch of money. Okay, let's see. Bloodvelds, yes, that is as good as it gets. Uh, Greater Demons is actually pretty solid, let's get it done. There's level 96 strength and the decision has been made. We're not gonna go for 99 strength, which is what I would always usually do, but we are instead gonna focus on getting to 111 combat, so we can go up a bracket, and for that we're gonna train attack and defense, well, mainly attack. What did I just get? I got a mud rune and anti-fire potion. That might be the worst uh, drop yet. And another supply drop, this time Lorunes and Wines of Zamorak. That's a lot of Lorunes though. Was that like 400 or am I trolling? Wait, Lava Runes? That wasn't even Lorunes, it was Lava Runes. I, am, I might need some sleep, honestly. We now have AD Slayer meaning we are 5 levels away from Abyssal Demons, but most importantly, we can now get assigned Necreals. I was just about to go to bank, but we got an Insatiable. Come on. Give me like a good, a good sigil, bro. Let's take a look. Dwarf with a manta ray. This is very sad. Very sad. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Um, listen, it do me what it do me. 78 attack is the threshold needed to be wearing Vesta weapons. I will probably go for 80 attack and then 80 defense just while training melee. The combat is already 104. It took us a long time, but by burying this ash, we are now 70 prayer. With 70 prayer, we can now use piety, but we cannot use piety, I guess, until the next bracket. Now that we are 80 attack and 105 combat, we are 50 minutes away from the next breach. And I'm now going to start working on a little bit of defense because, yeah, my defense is not very good. Let's put it that way. Especially when I overload, then my defense goes really down. I do think for the breach... I'm taking super combats because I don't think I can afford losing 18 defense levels. That is uh, interesting. So my vengeance trinket sold and I bought more nature runes that I really don't want or need. Well, interesting. Let's figure out what to do with these coins now. We sniped it. We fucking sniped it for 1 mil. It's selling for 3 mil. But we just bought f devotion. Hold up. Let me, let me put that shit on immediately. We sniped it, bro, for a milli. That is so big, by the way. That is prayer literally sorted for the entire tournament i am so happy this actually bought oh my yes man yes man look at it it's beautiful it's marvelous if you do not know what this does is this automatically buries bones and it gives 200 percent of xp which is phenomenal when it comes to like later on bursting and stuff like that. But now I need to figure out what I'm going to throw away. And I think consistency has to go. Just for the tasks that have like good bones, we're going to get rid of consistency and we're going to put the devotion on. 1100 XP per kill. And then later on when we're barraging, this is going to snowball our prayer. So I'm super happy. That is an anti-fire and a blue dragon scale. Not very good, but uh, we'll take it anyways. If you're enjoying the episode, make sure to subscribe. All right, ladies, gentlemen, breach is in one minute. We have decent stats, 80 attack, 96 strength, 77 defense. We have consistency, meticulousness, and formidable fighter, which should be really good. And we have, well, 12.5k points. Not a lot of points yet. Obviously, we haven't been focusing on that whatsoever. Uh, but just so we kind of see how much we get from this breach. Okay, Kandarin Kingdom. I do believe that is like Ardun. Super restores. That's a good drop, 16 of them. Oh, nice. Tier 5 emblem. Let's go. This could be big. Yes! Trinket! Let's go. That's big. We got a trinket of advanced weaponry. That can be scythe. That can be anything. <laughs> Bro, there's so many people peeking. It's funny as fuck. Ah, but these breaches are so hard to, like, find mobs, no? Another tier 5? Yes. Big. I think we're gonna be happy with this breach. Uh, we got the trinket, and the trinket could be the scythe, or, well, other things. So let's go ahead and open it and see what we pulled. But I'm very happy with this breach, definitely made a decent amount of profit, and most importantly, we didn't die. The points at the end of the breach are 13.9, so I need to get up a bracket. It's gonna be much easier to hit more. Let's take a look. I got an AGS. I 
believe this is the worst one you can get. <laughs> I, unironically, I think this might be the worst one you can get. So either I sell it or I use it. That's the question. I'm going to chuck it in for 950k if somebody wants to buy it. Now with the breach out of the way, the plan is simple. We're 106, almost 107 combat. We just need to push to 111 and get up a bracket. And before we do that, I will need to squeeze in a desert treasure completion as well and two prequests. 108 combat and 80 defense completed. We're now getting to the point where we are very close to leveling up to the last bracket. So I guess we need to probably start preparing desert treasure after this task. I really am not looking forward to it, but I guess it has to be done. All right, we are maintaining the tradition, a giant champion scroll. I'm pretty sure I've gotten one of those in the last three Deadman modes. I might be wrong, but that is one in 5,000 drop, and we will take it and hold it in the bank. I completely forgot about that, but if you're doing activities outside of save zone, there's a small chance you get sigils, so I guess we're chopping trees out here from now on. Do you guys see something in my inventory here? There's a sigil of resistance in here. Attacks from monsters are reduced by 25%. Ah, but it's just a weaker titanium. I can see this one being basically useless. Uh, but yeah, I got my first sigil from just chopping trees. That's pretty cool. That's 50 fire making. I also have all the items already bought for other quests. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. Ah, there we go. Finally, I uh, got all the way to 13 mining. And that is dig site completed, a bunch of mining XP from 13 to 54, and we get a little bit of herb XP as well, which makes it so we can actually make prayer potions right now. This can be pretty helpful, I didn't know I get that much XP for it. Next on the list, I believe, is gonna be Temple of Ikov, another slightly annoying quest, let's get it done. I absolutely hate doing this quest simply because of the fact that you need to bring 20 unnoted limpurd roots, making it so you have absolutely no inventory space if you get hit. So if I get hit here, uh, we die. Ah, beautiful. So all you need for this one is just ice arrows equipped and you can dart it down. And consistency makes this very nice. And there's Temple of Ikov, completed 10,000 range XP. But look, we're now 58 range, meaning we can now use... Uh, red chins, that's actually a lot of XP, I didn't expect to get that much out of it. So now we only have Taurish Trap left to go, and we can then start Desert Treasure. For this quest, we're gonna be relocating our house to Polnivnich, this is gonna make it a little bit easier, and once again, this quest is one of the ones I don't really like, let's put it that way. First, I need to train my smithing to 20, I could do the quest, but I also just bought a couple of bars, and uh, this should be pretty simple. And that is 20 smithing, let's uh, complete the quest. All right, no red dots. That means the quest should be completed here. And most importantly, we're putting all the XP on thieving. That is 50, and that is 54, the exact requirement I believe we need for Desert Treasure. Here's the quest completion. Desert Treasure 1, we have all the requirements. Let's get it done, and then we basically completed most of the questing I believe that I need to do. There we go, nice and easy. All right, let's get our first diamond. All right, and that's ice diamond, three more to go. Okay, very good. Okay, second diamond was not too hard. There we go, oh my God, everything is milking it in this tournament, uh, but that's really good. Let's finish off this diamond. Apparently I've completed a hard achievement without even realizing it, but my guy doesn't wanna spawn. I guess I'll run out and in again and see if that does it, but like, what's going on, man? Alright, there we go. Shadow Diamond, and I left the easiest one till the very end. Let's get it done. Shout out to my homie neighbor for mowing the lawn. Unfortunately, it is so hot in my room that I can't really close the window. Anyways, here's the last diamond. Smoke a diamond. Just gotta put it on. But first, I need to get enough money to buy the ancient staff. And here it is, the desert treasure is finally completed. So chill with infinite run energy. Still annoying you though, I don't like doing this quest. But we now have access to the um, spellbook. And I think I will actually just stay on this spellbook. I only really use the regular spellbook to teleport to Varok. And I can do that with Chronicle, or I can do that with Rings of Returnings. So, yeah. Oh, kurva much. Uh, boop. 
<laughs> Alright, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Your jump scared me, bro. Oh, man. Anyways, we're fine. I did want to get the ancient stuff, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it's gonna be awkward to get it right now, I think. Uh, but I want it. Okay, right, let's get it. Whatever, it is what it is. Well, it wasn't that bad of a drop after all, 700k from the corrupted armadillo god sword. That can be quite useful. I'm gonna get a bunch of sacks and we should be alright. This didn't buy on the GE for 120k, so I'm just getting myself a mystic rope top as well. And if you're wondering why is this dude spending 120k on a mystic rope top, simple solution is if I get caught, I now can actually land freezes. Now, mind you, it's only an ice burst, which is not gonna be ice burst for too much longer, simply because when I overload, I can ice blitz. So the escape should be available. Now, let's finally get ourselves the staff. We are interested and now we have the staff. This staff goes for like three, four hundred K right now. So we are gonna probably keep it nice and safe. We'll see, let's leave the shark on the floor. It is now time for me to actually push for the highest brackets. I just spent a little bit of my money investing into Verax plate skirt and mixed hide top and shoes. I can't quite wear it yet, I just need one range level, uh, but this is gonna help me with max hit when I'm training. I am gonna be losing a little bit on prayer, but I will be gaining on the max hits, and now I will have a nice little three-way, basically being able to swap into my three-way and freeze my opponent, step under and escape. It's not gonna be as easy as it sounds, but it's the best option we have at the moment. So, that being said, let's go ahead and do a little bit of Slayer. But first, I'm getting 60 ranged. Man, I look like an absolute snack like this. Wait, is this a supply drop? I just got a... Oh, I forgot a looting bag. Are you serious? I was just in the bank. Okay, so now it's 60 range, now we have a little bit of tank to work with, and this is what I had in mind, right? So if I get hit right now, it is a little bit easier for me to tank and survive, because I can 3-way, freeze, and I have even blitz available, obviously no barrage yet, but as soon as we get a burst task, the magic XP is gonna go up very quickly. Wait, my guy is VLS and shit, hold up. Oh, this might be rough. He has a rampage, so he needs to... This might be hard. I'm probably dead. Nah, I can't. I can't believe I escaped like that. That's crazy. What? My guy has VLS full arm, full... F what? What did I just... I'm, I'm just a guy in a fucking mixed hide versus a guy in full arm, full caril, VLS, dragon bolts, and I escape like that? I should not be alive right now, by the way. I should be very much dead. <laughs> that got my blood pumping, bro. I can, I'm like staring at the screen right now. You gotta realize, right? If I had the chance to like warm up, it would be much easier to like tank, but you gotta realize I am what, like 27 hours deep into the tournament right now with no sleep, and all I do is I AFK, like or like I click mobs, right? So I'm not warmed up at all, and then a guy in complete Turbo Maximus jumps me, and I'm there like, oh, lovely. Anyways, we are now on 109 combat and 83 attack. I think I'll just keep on going on attack right now. And we need to escape this bracket, he's trying to get on us again. I'll get hit one more time here, and then I'll run. Yeah, I, I'm being a bit ragged, so what I'm thinking we do is... I think we do one of those. Ah, he's very angry, I think. I 
I have six, man. I have six fire giants to kill, but he keeps attacking me right now. All right, we finished the task, and uh, let's see what the next one is. Worms. This should be really good prayer XP, I think. Oh, but it's so in Narnia. Wait, was that 2.2k prayer XP a pop? Wait a second, this might be really good prayer XP with devotion. Almost 500k AFK prayer XP per hour from these guys. And these guys are not even one of the best. Like, they're not even dragons. They don't even drop double bones. Uh, but that's pretty good, man. 84 attack got me to 110 combat. We are now officially four levels away until we move to the final bracket. I just got dragon knives. And how many? 94. I think that might sell for bank for lower bracket. That is by far the best drop you can get here. It seems like every knife sells for about 9k at the moment, which is basically 900k drop what we just got. That is huge. If you guys do not know why the final bracket is so important, firstly, one hour of protection that I can utilize very well, but secondly, we get the highest chance in order to get a tier 3 sigils, plus we get the highest drop rate chance, which is I think 5x instead of 4x, or 4x instead of 3x. Regardless, we get more drops and we get rarer drops. I need to be a little bit careful because I don't want to get the level yet. I want to finish this task because I don't want to come back here. And I want to give myself a little bit of prep time in order to get all the items that I need in the bracket up. So, need to keep an eye open for this one. Sigil of Onslaught. Please be insane. I don't even know what this does. Oh, I don't think it's that good. But basically, Chinchompas hit 11 instead of 9. But since I'm about to go chilling, this might actually be really good. There's a random bridge happening right now. Let me quickly level. Oh no. What the fuck is this? I need to go up a bracket. What is this surprise bridge at 6 p.m.? Oh my god, I'm starting the stream as well. Fuck it. Unbelievable. So there it is. 84 defense, 111 combat. We need to move up a bracket now. I'm gonna grab my DC me out and uh, yeah, we'll do the bridge first, I guess. Okay, there is not very much people here. So we're swapping to the EU, we're gonna try to find that breach and hopefully get a bunch of points. Starting on 17k, but yeah, having the entire monster to myself is gonna be so many points. Okay, that's Darok fully killed by me for some Karamb ones. That is unlucky. No, he's not letting me solo it. I wanna solo this guy. Okay, but we're printing points. This is what you want. You wanna be in this bracket and you wanna be printing points. Okay, let's see. Tier 5, okay, we'll take the tier 5, not bad. Yeah, a lot of people aren't biggest fans of this printing around stuff. 500 deference. Rune chain body, another tier 5, nice. And my points aren't refreshing yet, I guess they refresh at the end. Oh, never mind, I just got 1,800 points or something crazy. Okay, so basically for the future, every time the 0000, 000, 000 hits the clock, you need to be ready for a breach. Another tier 5 emblem, we'll take that. I think this is it. I think we don't overstay here. We're now 70 range, meaning we could use a black dehyde. However, I don't think we got enough time to run to the bank here. And since we have the accuracy sigil on us anyways, I don't think it matters that much. So I'm just gonna use the chins first and the rest will go into magic training. How did the bridge go? Not bad. Wait, sigil of the fortune farmer. Is it the good one? Is this the stackable clues? I think this one's good if it's the stackable clues. All clue scrolls will drop stackable. I don't know if it's good, I'll be honest. It's a tier 2 sigil. Okay, I think this is where I stop with magic. And we now start training mage. Wait. I'm gonna stop with range training on 79. Uh, I mean, from where we started, that is perfect. And we're now gonna focus on getting our magic up as well. Because our magic is struggling. And I wanna be able to pot barrage, basically. So, yeah. It's gonna take us a little bit of time. We still have 28 minutes on the protection. We're gonna use all of it here on the monkeys. And then we're just gonna go back to standard slaying. Sigil of the Hoarding. Is it good? When subduing the Winter Todd... Why do I get these shit ones? You will receive three times crates. That is disaster. Yeah, three times rewards from minigames, basically. Two bad sigils, damn it. 82 magic and 79 prayer. With 82 magic, I can now finally cast Ice Blitz, which is a decent spell for protecting myself against PKers. Now, the spell we actually want to go to is Barrage, but for that, we need level 94. And we have two minutes left on protection. When it says one minute, I'm dipping because I don't want to risk my entire bank here. 
Okay, so in this protection, we actually did a lot. We did the breach for the first 15 minutes of it, which was okay. We ended up getting a bunch of tier fives, uh, but also look at these stats. They're actually starting to look pretty nicely balanced. Range is all the way up to almost 80. Magic is almost 85, meaning I can pretty much pot barrage right now, which is exactly what I wanted to achieve. So now we're just going to grab a task, hope for dust devils or necrios or well, something that I can barrage. And uh, yeah, we keep on training here. Okay, expensive one, but worthy one. Here are Barrow's gloves now that we're in max bracket. We can wear those, which is perfect. And now I'm ready to return back to Slayer, get to 85 as fast as possible. Well, would you look at that? Speak of the devil, dust devils. Slayer task. All right, let's get it done. If we get stream sniped, it do be what it do be. We are barraging on stream without protection, so it might end not so great. Uh, but I'm not risking that much. None of these items I necessarily care about too much. I could probably put that dragon see me and Nezi helm in the deposit box, but it should be all right. It should be all right. There is level 85 magic, and if my overload works correctly, I should be able to now cast Ice Barrage, which is going to be much better. And we are actually going to be casting that on defensive. Start working on beefing our character, and also slowly working on magic as well. Choke Devil and 83 Slayer. Let's see if we get lucky. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see what it is. Sigil of Exaggeration. Hold no. I don't think it's good. Yeah, permanently boosted by five. It's not good. Managed to survive another day and we made a lot of money in the process. These tasks absolutely print money, but obviously the risk to reward ratio is huge. Let's take a look what the next task is going to be. Ooh, I like this. Let's make some money. Wait, I have a superior, but I don't know how you kill. I think you pray range, right? Been a minute since I've killed the superior gargoyle, let me tell you. Sigil of the well fed. Why am I getting some potato? Oh my God. And I got the dust battle stuff as well. 97 strength and 113 attack. I'm utilizing this time where I don't have a whip yet to get strength as high as I can. Because when I get a whip, I'm just going to focus on attack and most likely. And then defense will be fully trained with magic, probably. I don't think I've ever had this many points in Deadman mode. Like, I've just been doing every task the game gave me. I was like, yeah, sure, you know, this scene's kind of fine. Let's do it. I have 189. I mean, it's gonna come in handy once we get to 87 Slayer, because I can hand pick something like Krakens, for example, or hand pick something like Abyssal Demons, which I don't think I'll hand pick Abyssal Demons because they are pretty common. Uh, but Krakens, I can see myself hand picking a Kraken task. Kurask. The game gave me Kurask. I think I might cancel this one, to be honest. But regardless, uh, the breach is in 18 minutes. I don't know what I'll do with this one, uh, but let's start preparing for the breach. All right, breach is in six minutes. We got consistency, formidable fighter, meticulousness. This meticulousness, I'm so happy I got it. It's now going for a lot of money as well. It's probably one of the best ones you can actually take to these breaches. That makes me hit often. My plan is to actually go with overloads, which is very risky. However, I can then barrage out of it. Northeast Alcarid mine. Oh, so this is gonna be the old bridge then. Oh, shit. This guy got hit a 58. He almost died. That's range. Got a dragon battle axe. Duriel as well. Why am I tanking everything? We need to focus Kriara, honestly. Otherwise, it's doomed. Oh, there's a tier 5 on the floor. My bad. How do I not have this highlighted? I'm trolling. Kriara for sure hurts, though. But why am I the only one shooting Kriara? Like, we need to clear this or we all get chip damaged. Is there anyone schooled around here? Not quite. Bro. Holy fuck. I nearly died. Because Ziliana was hitting me and I was trying to pray against the other dude at the same time. There's a tier 5 just on the floor that I guess I missed. Another emblem will take it. Alright. I think that's it. Good breach, honestly, good breach. We didn't get any uniques, we didn't see any uniques. We got a bunch of emblems, we got a bunch of loot. Uh, but most importantly, I think we got a bunch of points as well. Like we're talking upwards of 5k. So yeah, the upper breaches are definitely the way to go. Very happy to be here. I decided to skip sleep in order to catch back up to the competition. And we are now comfortably amongst the top let's say 40 players that are currently playing in this world. I have been in this world for most of the day, but you get the idea. The stats are looking very good. We're almost at the part where we have barrage. I'm very nicely balanced across all stats. We have good amount of money, decent sigils, very nice amount of points. So I'm extremely happy with the amount of progress we did in this simple video. 
Very quickly though, if you made it this far into the video, check our membership program. If you guys perhaps want to support me further, there is that option available and I would be very grateful. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a third video. Have a good one and bye bye.